Now here we are on comparing gender differences. Let's assume that you went and opened a new program, new SAS program, and you're ready to start. First we're going to do a proc freak. Data equals sashelp.heart semicolon, tables, sex, semicolon, run. Because we're comparing by sex, I'd like to know, do we have equal numbers of men and women in the group? And it appears that we don't in our data set. It's about 45% male and 55% female. So that's going to become kind of related later on. Now we're going to type data, test two, semicolon, set, sashelp.heart, semicolon. We're creating a new data set that reads in the data set from the heart data set. And we're adding a new variable to it, age at death five, which equals age at death rounded to the nearest five. So we're going to use the round function and put age at death, comma, and five in parentheses. And as always, we're going to end each statement with a semicolon. Now we're going to do another proc freak. Data equals test to the new data set we just created, semicolon. Tables sex times age at death five times death cause slash there's some options missing. I want the missing data, the people who didn't die to be included. Output or out equals test three semicolon. So that's going to output the data into a data set that we're naming test three and run. If we didn't have that missing option in there, then we wouldn't get data for the people who died, but we want them included in the denominator. We want our denominator to include everybody in the population, not just the people who died of something. So I'll go back to our code. Proc, I was spelled it wrong, proc gplot data equals test three, the data set we just created, plot count times age at death five equals sex. So we want a separate line plotted for each gender, male and female, where Death cause equals, quote, coronary heart disease, end quote, semicolon. And remember, you have to have this capitalized exactly like this and spelled right. Symbol one, interpol equals join for interpolation. So it will just draw a line instead of just dots. You don't need to do that, it's personal preference, but I like it better that way. So I'm going to run this. And you can see by this graph that the number of deaths, when you look at the absolute count, of males, that red line at the top versus females, that males start dying sooner of coronary heart disease and 
the difference is quite marked up until I'd say around the 70s and then it starts to drop, which may just be because there's fewer men to die. It's very possible. Let's go back to our code. Remember there were fewer females. So maybe if instead of doing it by count, we did it by percentage, we'd get different results. So I'm going to do proc gplot again. Told you I always spelled wrong. Data equals, same data set, test three, semicolon, plot. And this time I'm going to plot percent times age at death, five equals sex. So it will, it will plot the percent of each of them that die. Where death cause equals coronary heart disease. Again, in quotes, semicolon, same thing, symbol one, interp interpol equals join. So I get graphs instead of dots, and then run that. And if anything, it seems to be more of a difference between men and women. So even though we had more men in this, we, we had fewer men in the study, you can see that lots more of them die. And so once you download these, maybe you want to compare the two graphs and see how similar they come out to be. So you can download your results. This is a HTML, RTF file, and then you can attach that to an email or upload it to Dropbox to turn in your homework.